So Microsoft has announced that Crackdown 3 has been delayed again until spring 2018, stating that the destruction-filled sandbox game needs more time for them to get it right. Uh, Microsoft Studios publishing manager said the following, Among other items, we are taking the extra time to focus on the visual polish so gamers can feel completely immersed in a living world. We want them to feel the larger-than-life enemies as they're exploring the expansive world. So, if you follow me on Twitter, a few weeks ago, I said that Crackdown 3 looked like shit. I thought it looked terrible at E3 this year, whenever they were trying to focus on the single player. Uh, then they had an event where they brought in a bunch of B-tier actors and actresses, a bunch of people you probably never heard of, and it was one of the most cringe-inducing videos, like... I've ever seen, like as far as, especially when it comes to gaming, uh, like I've seen some pretty bad, you know, feminist videos and everything, but this was pretty bad as far as gaming videos go, and it was so obvious that some of these people had no idea what they were doing, like they had, they had never picked up a controller before. Just run around and see, pick that shit up. Oh, okay, that's it. Yes. Boom. And right. then, and then I throw and it, then like, it. boom. Do you feel strong? I do. I'm a little afraid to jump off of just this. Just jump. Fuck it. What's the jump? Just go over there. Oh, uh, A. Oh, oh that's my camera. B. And then how do I jump up? Uh, try B. I nope, punch. No, try A. Uh, let's try it. Yeah, uh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, that's a good oh. jump. Okay, okay, so, so then, and then I steer myself a little. Exactly. Look at your lower left. Oh. You see all those little red dots? Yes. Those are people trying to kill you. There's a lot of them. I want to head away from them, right? Or do I just want to kill them? Just kill them. Okay. You got a big gun. It's got great okay. aim. Wait. You can blow oh blood stuff. Those are not people. Trying to kill people. Okay. Have your camera. Great job. I got to see better now. Okay. Something's shaking. Oh, look. You're jumping around. Yeah, I'm, I'm not messing around here. All right. It's going to shoot. Cool, huh? Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Ooh. Uh, okay. Kill that guy too. Okay. There you go. Oh, I look tough. See that person? Shoot him. Wrong one. Boom. Look to your left. I'm, oh, there we go. I'm glad they're not trying to kill me as badly as I think. And I mean, that was just a really small snippet. Like, if you watch the whole video, you'll probably feel physically ill. So, that also didn't help out the game. And I also couldn't help but roll my eyes every time Microsoft talked about showing this off in gorgeous 4K when it comes to this title. Because, I mean, you look at it... I mean, you could make this game 10K. I don't think it's going to make the visuals look that much better. Like, it's not a visually appealing game. And so I think Microsoft saw where this disaster was heading and decided to give them more time to hopefully rework the art style. And hopefully by delaying it, it will be become a better game because I've said multiple times I'd rather have a delayed game than a broken or a bad game. But let's also be real. This is not good news for Microsoft. It's not good news for this year's already anemic lineup. It's not good news for the launch of Xbox One X. And I understand some people are going to be upset about that. I don't know how you spin it to how this is good news. Now, if you listen to Microsoft, here's what they're saying about the launch lineup for Xbox One X. Here's what they say. The Xbox One X launch lineup will be one of the greatest lineups of games ever available with a major new console release. The fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Not only are there several new Xbox exclusives such as Forza 7, Cuphead, Super Lucky's Tale, and the console launch exclusive uh, Battlegrounds, there's an incredible list of titles coming this holiday including Middle Earth, Shadow of War, and they name off a bunch of third parties that are going to be on other platforms. Um, and then they say with all these titles enhanced to play better on Xbox One X with so many great exclusives and new games to play, Crackdown 3 would have shipped into an incredibly crowded market. Look, Microsoft's lineup has sucked this year, and I'd be embarrassed to sit here and try to stay, say with a straight face that it's been a great year. Like, I don't know how you spin that. If you exclude the third parties, Microsoft's lineup has sucked. 
Uh, and again, I know some are upset with that observation, but you're doing yourself no favors because when you constantly praise bullshit, you can constantly expect to be served bullshit. And I, I know some are going to argue that they don't care about exclusives. That's fine for you, but you might should be a little bit concerned looking at the recent NPD numbers for Xbox sales because they're abysmal and other people do care about them. Other people do care about the games. And Xbox One X, as I've said many times before, is not going to carry Microsoft long term. Not even Microsoft thinks it will. It'll carry them for a few months, but asking people to pay more money for a console that has fewer games than its competitors is not a winning formula. And you can be mad at that statement, but it's not going to change the reality of it. And so at Gamescom, we need to be seeing exactly what Microsoft is investing in when it comes to games. They need to bring a lot to the table. And no, I'm not talking about all the indies that were shown off at E3. Games is a major investment. And if Microsoft expects consumers to invest in its products, is asking people to invest another $500 into a new console, then Microsoft has to prove that they're investing in consumers. And by that, I mean investing in games that you're going to be able to play long term. Microsoft needs to bring the big guns to Gamescom. And by big guns, I mean more than just announcing pre-orders are live for Xbox One X because everybody's already expecting that. In fact, if it doesn't happen, that's really, really weird. So you got to have more announcements. They need to show off Crackdown 3 multiplayer again. It's been a long time since we've seen it. They need to prove that they still have this technology built in with the multiplayer and that they haven't downgraded it. Uh, they need to show off more than a new feature in Sea of Thieves. They need more than 4K Minecraft. Um, they, they need more than just a console launch exclusive in Battlegrounds to say this is why you need to buy an Xbox. They need to show people why they need to buy an Xbox because right now they aren't doing that. And it's Microsoft's job to do that. And the reason I'm giving them a little bit of tough love is because I do not want Microsoft to fail. I don't want them getting out of the game because that means that we're stuck with only Nintendo and PlayStation when it comes to console choices. And that is going to be very bad news for everybody if that ever were to happen. So we need competition, and for the gaming industry and market to remain strong, we need Microsoft to be competitive. So Microsoft, get your ass in gear. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh.